everyone, Ken and Profi here with a quick Blender VFX tip for you today. This is just a compositing workflow tip that may be really obvious to a lot of you, but I know it wasn't to me for a very long time and it uh, really helped out my workflow once I figured this out. So have you ever had an issue in the compositor, Blender's compositor, where you're trying to create a mask on your footage and you keep needing to adjust the mask, so you keep jumping back and forth from the masking tab to the compositor, things aren't lining up. So th this video is about how to solve that exact issue. I'm going to jump into uh, a new VFX tab inside of Blender, and I'm just gonna load in some basic stop footage I got off of Pixabay just to illustrate uh, this topic here. Alrighty, so traditionally, you're in the motion tracking section, maybe you wanna go to masking, uh, you load your footage in there, um, you draw a mask and, you know, simple, draw it around like that. And then you go into compositing, you check use nodes, um, you load in your movie clip. And then if we control shift click, view that movie clip, you can delete our render layer. Okay, so now we have our footage and we wanna, we wanna see our mask, right? So we shift A, add in a mask node and then there's our mask, all right? And we can view the mask, okay? But uh, we can't edit the mask, you know? <laughs> and that's, that's uh, the downfall of this kind of normal workflow. You come here to this tab, you draw your mask, uh, you go into compositing, and now if you wanna tweak the mask, you have no ability to do that. So what's just a really simple way to arrange our compositor to where we have the ability to, just like in After Effects or any other software where you can draw a mask, do it right inside where our nodes are. Um, well, we can just rearrange a few of these windows here. Very, very simple. Like I said, this is probably super obvious to many, uh, but I know it wasn't to me for a very long time. Um, so I'm going to set this top window to be the area where I work on just my nodes. So I don't want even j the background video, I just want my nodes. So I'm gonna turn off backdrop here. Okay, and that gives me uh, the ability to have more space working with my nodes. And then this bottom window down here, I'm gonna set this to the image editor. And there in here in the image editor, we have the option to view, paint, and mask. So we can choose mask and we can select this is the really the powerful part. We can select the render result of everything in the compositor, which would be everything from the composite node, or we can select the viewer node. So whatever we are uh, selecting right there. So whatever we have viewed, we can draw a mask right on there. So if we control shift click view our movie clip, now what we can do is let's draw a new mask. We can name this moon and you can control and left click uh, a mask or what we can do is um, just press shift a add in a circle gives us a little circle mask scale it up as to scale draw it right around the moon there okay now we're it's just the workflow is right on top of each other so we have this moon mask right here in our mask settings now and we can view that so now we're viewing our mask in real time and we can adjust uh, uh, you know how big or how little the mask is right here while we're working in the compositor. So let's say, all right, we don't wanna just view the mask, we want to view you know, what we're actually masking out. So we could drop in maybe a set alpha node. I mean, there's so many, so many different compositing things we can do here, but plug in our image to the top of the set alpha node and plug in the mask to the alpha section. And now we're viewing uh, the set alpha node. And so we can view, yeah, we want, we want to you know, dial this mask down around the moon for whatever reason. Uh, maybe we want to move it over. Maybe we want to make this full moon uh, disappear, you know? So we can shift A, drop in a mix node. I'm going to lift out this set alpha node for a second and plug in this mask into the factor of this mix node and set the bottom color. We'll just choose the color of our sky here. There we go. And now in real time, we can adjust our mask uh, while tweaking our compositor. Uh, so maybe we wanna make this crescent moon have a little bit of blur to it. Of course, you could feather the mask, just come here to mask, transform, scale, feather. Um, or maybe you want to you know, add more blur to that. So we're right here in the compositor, add a blur node to the mask, you know, blur it up a 
whole bunch. Tweak it, adjust it, make that nice DreamWorks moon. You know, a, a kind of a weird thing. I wish there was an easy way to just hide the mask, but other than just pressing H, but that works. So now, you know, right there we have uh, a totally different look to this this whole shot. Um, and it's just a, 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 it's an obvious thing that you can do this, but maybe not so obvious to a lot of people um, that you're able to have the ability to mask simultaneously while you're working in the compositor. So um, let me alt age, bring that back. You know, say we wanted to completely get rid of the moon there. We've done that. And now we have demooned <laughs> our shot. Alrighty, so thanks so much for watching. That's it for this video. It was just a quick tip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, if you did enjoy it, um, press the like button right now and it'll just, it'll, it'll explode. It'll be, just watch, it'll, see? If you, if you do that on YouTube right now, it's a special 24 hour only uh, deal. Press the like button and it'll explode. Maybe, okay, all right. Uh, if you if it didn't explode then um, subscribe because the analytics show that 97% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed Come on, please four for four. What's a guy got to do to get a subscription around here? Please hit the subscribe button it really helps me out. I'll see you all in the next video